Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. And today I have my reading journal for 2024. This year I decided to use a Happy Plans and Notes. And with the Happy Plans and Notes, it doesn't come with a name page. So I thought that I would create one today using this first blank page that comes in the planner. So um, this is like the first page uh, of that happy plans and notes planner and on the other side is the year at a glance calendar so i'm going to take this off the discs so when i first put my reading journal together um there is a setup video if you haven't seen that yet um be sure to go ahead and check that out um, but when i first put the journal together i thought oh i don't think i you know need a name page it'll be fine um but now that it's all together and today is January 1st and we are starting to use all of our new planners for the year, um, I decided that I really do want to have a name page. So what I'm going to do is take this blank page and I have the Live Love Posh uh, Functionally Chic Blooms in all the colors and I thought that it might be fun to put, you know, rainbow florals around the edge and then just write in here, you know, this reading journal belongs to and put my name. So that is what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started with red and I need to choose my red florals that we're going to use. These ones are really pretty. That is definitely a contender. And I do want something that's mostly red that doesn't have like other colors in it. Okay, I think we're going with these. So we're going to pick one and I think we will start by putting this kind of in the corner right here. I'm gonna try and get as much of the red part of the floral on to the page um, as I could. And actually, um, I didn't mean to put it there, but it kind of jumped out of my hands and decided where it was going to go. So uh, that's where it's going, I guess. So I'm just going to trim off the excess here. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit more so we can just use this scrap and put that right there. And there is a little bit more red. I'm going to just cut this part off that doesn't have any of the red color in it. Um, maybe even some of this green. And we'll just add, add in a little bit more here. We are now going to move on to orange. So we will pick an orange floral to use. I like this one. This one has uh, orange and yellow, but since yellow is gonna be the color next to it, um, that one could work. Same with this one. This one has orange and yellow. I think this one will go better with the red that we've already selected, so I'm going to use these. So I pulled this one because it uh, already had like a flat edge to it, so we're going to use that one. And I'll put another one next to it. How about this one? And we'll kind of do the same thing that we did with this one where um, there's some like green and sort of like a uh, like a cream color there. And I'm going to keep as much of the orange part um, on the page as I can um, and not have as much of that, uh, those other colors in there. Okay, and then maybe let's use this one to add a little bit more orange. Moving on to yellow. Let's find a good yellow. I love sunflowers, but I don't know if they would go as well in this spread. I'm thinking these. I think these will, um, will look good. 
So we're going to take this one. And again, I'm going to strategically place it. Um, I wonder how it would look if I could cut some of this green off of this side. Let's see. Let's try it. Okay, so I cut a little bit of that green, that greenery off um, because two reasons. One, I didn't want to have quite as much of the, the greenery in here, but also it would have um, extended like too far onto the page. And so I think if we orient it like that, I think that will work. Okay, and then I think uh, like one more yellow. And how about like, oops, something like that. So today is New Year's Day. It is the first, so Happy New Year, everybody. I hope everybody had um, a nice New Year's Eve. Moving along to green now. Um, we actually had a really fun New Year's. We went over to our neighbor's house um, for kind of like an afternoon type uh, New Year's Eve party. Um, they, our neighborhood has a bunch of kids and a lot of them are, you know, pretty young. And so they wouldn't, you know, be able to make it past midnight for sure or to midnight. Um, so we did sort of a, uh, like a, an early party there. And then, um, at our house, we hosted a New Year's party that, um, went until midnight. And this was the first year that my son actually stayed awake until midnight, which was pretty fun, you know, to be able to, to celebrate with him at midnight. That was really fun. Okay. I think I want a little bit here, but I don't know that this, maybe I can just kind of cut this one up a little bit into different pieces. Maybe we'll just put this like that. Okay, so we have our green. Now let's move on to blue. Oh, I like this one. I think we'll go ahead with this one. So I was actually kind of surprised that um, that I made it all the way to midnight. I mean, we were having um, guests over, so I kind of didn't have a ton of <laughs> choice, right? I mean, we were hosting. I couldn't exactly like say, good night, everybody. I'm going to sleep um, before midnight. But uh, it's been a really, it's been a while since I've, you know, stayed up past midnight, just, you know, a night at home. Um, okay, I'm missing a little bit here. And I think what I'm going to do is take this green part and sort of cut. Might be easier to use a knife to do that. Okay, so I um, just cut the that greenery um, off of the blue floral and we can just, I'm gonna get rid of this other part, this blue part right here. And we're just gonna like sneak this in right here. Okay, and then we can even just add this here. Okay, on to purple. Let's find some pretty purple florals. I like these a lot. Purple is my favorite color. I like these. Oh, and there's a corner one. Maybe we could use that corner piece. I think we're gonna go with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off um, some of these extra leaves. 
uh, just so that it doesn't come, you know, too far into the page. And then we're going to maybe scooch this back a little bit because uh, I want the border to be about the same width all the way around if I can. Okay, how does that look? And maybe if we put it like right here, I'm going to get rid of this piece. Okay, and we're going to put that right there. Okay, and the last one, we're going to just fill this right in with pink. So let's find some pretty pink florals. Yeah, this one has too much purple, I think. We're going to use these. Okay, so I think we're going to take this one and I'm going to cut it in half and then I can use um, some the the remaining pieces of it to fill in any gap. So let's just cut this one in half. Uh, yeah, I think in half would be good. My scissors need to be cleaned. They are very, very sticky. I'm actually having a hard time cutting because they're so sticky. Just gonna cut some of this green off so that we can layer it and kind of uh, blend it in with this purple one. And then we can take the other part of this pink and maybe like that and then we'll cut uh cut this part off so that it goes right into the red there we go all right, I think that border came out really pretty. Um, so now the only thing that I'm going to do in here is um, write this reading journal belongs to and put my name. Um, now, I really do hate my handwriting. So I'm going to see if I can find stickers that are small enough to actually use stickers to do that whole thing, to write this reading journal belongs to Jess. Um, we'll see if I can find stickers that um, we can make that happen. So I will be right back. Okay, I think we're gonna give it a go. Um, I have Alpha Basics by Kelva Plan, and I think we're going to use these in combination with um, these. So I'll uh, use like a capital T for this, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna capitalize the first word of each or the first letter of each word, or just the T for this in this reading journal belongs to. Um, but I'm going to get these on a ruler and kind of space them out. Okay, I have this reading journal belongs to on my ruler, and I think the way that we're going to space it is to put this reading journal and then belongs to, and then I'll put my name down here. And then I will find some letters for my name. I think I'm going to pick a different font, maybe something big. Okay, I think I like uh, these letters. So we will take those and just gonna put it maybe like right here. Okay, I love this. Um, this isn't centered, so I think I'm going to attempt um, to move it. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I think that that's a little bit better centered and I'm really happy with how this came out. Um, I'm just gonna punch it now. So I have my um, Happy Planner punch. Now these are clear stickers, 
So this will probably um, stick. Let's see. Yep. Now, I recently did a video where I punched something and my paper got stuck. And uh, I had somebody comment and gave me a tip on what to do to get it not to stick. And I can't remember, <laughs> can't remember what that person said. I'm going to have to go back and look. I think they said to put like maybe a piece of paper behind it or something. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to go back and look. But there we go. So let's pop this in my journal. There we go. Look how pretty that is. So there's my, um, my name page for my reading journal. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, if you could hit that like button, that would be great. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't seen my 2024 setup videos, um, go and check those out. I will link them in the description and I will see you next time. Bye.